You mean, two weeks ago, we won the prestigious National Collegiate Mathathon title, and, and like they're never coming back? Or, or are they just gone for a few weeks? We've been through this. They're not coming back. There's nothing we can do. I, Johnny just got hired by Towers Watson and was training with a top actuary in New York City all of a sudden, and Ellen went off for some social high-class debutante etiquette training thing in Beverly Hills. I guess her Ivy League degree wasn't enough for her rich mother, and <laughs> there's actually a rumor going on that they eloped, but I never believe that. You know, Johnny always had a thing for Felicia, not Ellen. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. This is serious. I need you both to focus. The department chair got a notice late last night from the International Olympiad headquarters. They're starting a university division this year. That means us. We are going to represent the United States of America at the first annual International University Math Olympiad in Wales. We've got to find a way to come back from losing two of our integral team members. We must replace them as soon as possible. New members must be from within the institution as per Olympiad rules. I posted ads all over Yale early this morning to recruit three new members. They have to be from Yale? We already have the best mathletes in Yale! Well, we can ask Feng to come back. Feng? With one simple fax from Grandpa Wang, he got a spot at UCLA's PhD program with Professor Terrence Tao. He doesn't need us anymore. Plus, he betrayed us last year anyway. So, look. There's a free trip to Wales as part of the deal, so all we need is just a few warm bodies, and then the three of us will have to hold the team together. We could totally do it. I'll be in charge of the auditions. I hope we can pull this off. Without Ellen and Johnny, I don't know how we'll train new members so quickly. They have to fully understand and embrace our prime strategy to really succeed. But we have to do it for the team. And for academic integrity. And for Yale. Couldn't hurt my UCLA application with Terry Tao either. I have to really stand out to have a shot at them accepting two students from Yale in the same year. Welcome to the Yale Funky Functions tryout. We just want to get to know a bit about you, so don't be nervous. If you could put your math experience in the application, that'd be great. And your height and weight, an astrological sign. Totally. I'll go see Wales with you. I like Shamu. Free trip? Sounds like a blast. When's math season? How much experience do you have with number theory? I've never had a problem getting numbers. And that's not theoretical. Know what I'm saying? My idol is my fellow Frenchman, Cédric Villani. I aspire to be just like him. Wonderful. He won a Fields Medal in 2010 for his work on partial differential equations and mathematical physics. So what's your area of interest? I figure if I dress like him, I could win an award too. I'm an English major, so I'm hoping for a Pulitzer. Yeah, I'd like to visit the Dylan Thomas Museum while in Wales. I mean, between math problems, of course. Yeah, I'm really hoping to learn a lot from you guys. I'm only a freshman, but I published a paper on probability this year. Second author. And you'd be up for going to Wales to represent Yale? How long is the drive? It's in the UK. West of England, east of Ireland. Oh, I thought it was an island. It's part of the UK. Wales is part of Great Britain, which is an island. Wow, when did that happen? Is that near Scotland? 
I have an Erdish number of seven. Really? Why haven't you applied for the funky functions before? I was on a study abroad all last year, so I missed the tryouts. You're in. Welcome to the funky functions. What's an air dish number? Well, you know what a bacon number is, the yeah. six degrees of separation yeah. thing. Yeah. Yes, well, if you publish a paper with someone who published with the 20th century mathematician, Paul Erdish, that determines your Erdish number. Oh, cool. What if I publish with Erdish himself? Uh, well, you'd have to resurrect him first because he died in 1996, but theoretically your Erdish number would be one. Pretty cool, huh? Awesome. Yeah. This wasn't so bad. Yeah, if you want a tight end. What about Beverly? I mean, aside from her atrociously bad geography, she seemed to actually know something about probability. Yeah, and she was pretty nice, too. I have asked Fang to do Yale the service by renewing his membership with the funky functions for the Olympiad. Felicia, you will remain team leader as long as you pay the balance of your tuition bill before going to Wales. As a result of Wang Incorporated's generous donation to the department, the team will now have its own MATLAB computer room in the newly expanded Wang Wing. That should help with some of your research projects. I hope the new facilities have been satisfactory thus far. I know you will all represent Yale very well at the Olympiad, my Epsilons. Totally.